I hereby declare myself impressed and I really get impressed these days by a CPU cooler. This is the Iceberg Thermal Ice Slit G6 Stealth, the latest CPU cooler from a new company that has started strong and keeps going. With an MSRP of $79.99 and a selling price of $59.99, this CPU cooler looks to be a worthy contender for the Noctua NH-D15S, and in this review we shall see why. The Iceberg Thermal Ice Slit G6 Stealth is the flagship model of Iceberg Thermal. It's a single tower air CPU cooler that uses just a single 140mm fan and weighs in at no less than 1080 grams. The pricing of this CPU cooler is different. It has a manufacturing recommending price tag of $79.99, however, right now you can buy it for as low as $60, which is a great deal for a CPU cooler of this size. In addition, the Iceberg Thermal Ice Slit G6 Stealth is available with a 10-year warranty. Speaking of the size, the Ice Slit G6 Stealth is massive, with a height of 160mm, a width of 156mm and a depth of 123mm. However, this is where the similarities between this CPU cooler and others end. If I were to compare the Ice Slit G6 Stealth with a CPU cooler, it would be the Noctua NH-D15S, as both CPU coolers are using a single fan for the active cooling and both fans are optimized for low noise operation with plenty of space for the RAM modules, but more on the clearance later into the review. The design of the Iceslit G6 Stealth is great, it's such a simple CPU crew and it has no RGB or any LEDs for that matter, a far cry from the today's market of air CPU coolers that must be obnoxiously accessorized. This CPU cooler from a design standpoint is right at home next to the Noctua and Be Quiet CPU coolers. The only stylized part of the Iceslit G6 Stealth is the top panel which is made from plastic and has an angular design with the Iceberg Thermal logo placed on the center. This top plate is not just a decorative plate, it is in fact the mounting system for the included 140mm fan. The idea is simple, you remove the four hex screws with the included hex key and lift the top plastic cover, which holds the fan attached. That's how you get access to the fan and the mounting system of the CPU cooler. This fan is 140mm in dimensions and has a thickness of 25mm. It uses a fluid dynamic bearing system and has a minimum speed of 600rpm and a maximum speed of 1400rpm. Fortunately, you can control the speed of the fan thanks to the 4-pin connector and the PWM functionality. While this fan uses a bespoke mounting system, it's not irreplaceable. In fact, this is where the Ice Slit G6 Stealth starts to shine and outclass its competition. I was ready to say that this fan cannot be replaced if it breaks, but that is not accurate. This fan is held in place by plastic clips that are attached to the plastic cover, so you can replace the fan with a different fan as long as the mounting holes align with the fan clips, a thing which is not often found on CPU coolers that use a proprietary mounting system for the fans. The corners of the fan frame are using rubber pads to dampen the vibrations generated by the rotation of the impellers and to prevent scratching on the heatsink. The heatsink has a single tower design with a hollowed center to accommodate the 140mm fan we've talked about a few minutes ago. This heatsink is rounded and unfortunately cannot accommodate a dual or triple fan setup, only the single 140mm fan that is included. The heatsink uses 57 aluminum made cooling fins. These have smooth edges and are shaped to not only enhance the look of the CPU cooler, but to aid with airflow passing through the heatsink. The lower part of the heatsink has its fins shorter. This way you can install RAM kits with a height of up to 56mm, which is great, especially since RGB RAM kits are taller than average. To transfer and dissipate the heat from the CPU, the Iceberg Thermal Isolit G6 Stealth uses no less than 6 nickel plated copper made heat pipes, each of them with an outer diameter of 6mm. Unlike other CPU coolers such as the Noctua NHD15S, the heat pipes of the Isolate G6 Stealth are integrated into the base plate of the CPU cooler. This design is called Direct Touch and has been around for years. In fact, the Isolate G6 Stealth is one of the few flagship CPU coolers that uses such a base plate, as others are using a solid copper plate for a better thermal transfer. The heat pipe endings are not symmetrical, but in this case it makes no difference as the top of the heatsink is covered by the plastic mounting plate that holds the fan in place. 
With the CPU cooler and its features covered, it's time to see what's included with it and we start with the packaging. The cooler is protected by a hard cardboard made box that opens towards the front. In terms of the accessories, you get plenty. A user manual, mounting arms, a metal backplate, four hard rubber spacers, four thumb screws, four studs, a hex key and three sets of double threaded screws for both Intel and AMD platforms, each with its own bag and label that identifies it by its size. You also get additional items such as a tube of thermal compound, a foam spacer, foam nuts and that's it. The installation procedure is easy, really easy, close to noctua levels of easy, but not there yet. For your reference, I am using the Intel mounting system as I am using an Intel platform to test the CPU cooler. You get the backplate and insert the studs into it, then secure the studs with the small nuts. With those set up on the backplate, place the whole thing on the back of the motherboard. At the front of the CPU socket, you install the hard rubber spacers, which will then grip the studs and keep the backplate in place. Afterwards, you place the mounting arms in the correct orientation for your system and secure them with the thumb screws. Finally, you apply the thermal compound on the CPU and place the CPU cooler over it, lining up the spring-loaded screws with the threaded inserts found on the mounting arms. You then tighten those two down and you are done with the heatsink installation. All you need to do now is to install the fan and connect it to a fan header on your motherboard. Do not forget about the mounting plate for the fan. This needs to be secured with the four hex screws, otherwise the fan will rattle inside the heatsink. And you are done. All in all, this is a 3-5 to five minute job for a beginner. And with the CPU cooler installed in the testing system, we get to see just how large the iSLEED G6 Stealth truly is, on the same level as the Noctua NHD15 or the Be Quiet Darok Pro 4. In terms of the clearance, things are looking good, well, as good as they can look for a CPU cooler of this size. The RAM clearance is good thanks to two things. First, the fin installed on the lower part of the heatsink are shorter and thus will allow the usage of taller RAM kits. Second, the way the heatsink is shaped makes the CPU cooler only interfere with the first RAM slot of the motherboard. In terms of the graphics card clearance, things are below average at best, with a space of 10mm between the sides of the CPU cooler and the backplate of the graphics card. Enough space for the airflow to move around the system, but not enough space to access the top mounted M.2 socket. Before we head into the testing of the CPU cooler, you will get to hear a noise sample of the CPU cooler with its included 140mm fan going from a dead stop and up to its maximum speed of 1400rpm. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for the sake of comparing the CPU coolers, it does not consider other noise sources, such as the bearing of the fan, vibrations on the heatsink and so on. With a single 140mm fan running at a maximum speed of 1400rpm, the Isolate G6 Stealth reached a maximum noise output of 39 decibels, with the measuring device placed at the standard distance of 10cm from the CPU cooler and the testing system. The testing of all CPU coolers, unless otherwise stated, is done using an Intel i9 9900K CPU running at both its factory turbo boost frequency and overclocked manually to 5 GHz on all cores. The ambient temperature is set at 26 degrees Celsius throughout the entire testing period. The first test uses the Intel BurnTest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark that will place a load onto the CPU that is similar with what you will get when playing a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Iceberg Dermal Iceslit G6 Stealth reached a maximum temperature of 60 degrees Celsius with a CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 55 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory turbo boost frequency. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits as this one uses the system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark will place an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something which you will never encounter in your daily usage. The only way to get close to this level of CPU load and power draw is to use the CPU to render high resolution videos. And in this test, the Isolate G6 Stealth reached a maximum temperature of 87 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 63 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory boost frequency. This result places the Isolate G6 Stealth next to the Noctua NHD15S and the Deepcool AK620. 
This is an impressive result from what is a CPU crew that uses just a single 140mm fan that only spins at 1400 rpm, and it matches the performance of CPU crews that use two fans that spin faster and use a solid base plate instead of a direct touch design. The main advantage of the iSpec Thermal Ice Slit G6 Stealth, apart from its performance, is the lower than average noise output. In addition, the noise it makes is not bad, and even with the fan at maximum rpm, it is manageable. The performance is good and it better be for a CPU cooler of this size, however its size and better said its weight is the biggest drawback. With over 1kg of weight hanging from the motherboard, you cannot move your system around with ease, so keep that in mind. The pricing is another thing that needs discussing, while the MSRP is 80 US dollars, the cooler is selling at 60 US dollars, a good price for this level of performance, especially since the Noctua NHD15S can be had for 89 US dollars and the Deepcool AK620 can be had for around 50 to 60 US dollars. The iSpec Thermal Ice Slit G6 Stealth is not a Noctua killer, however it is a great alternative to the high-end Noctua coolers. It's cheaper, has the same level of build quality, it's quiet and easy to install. Speaking of which, the mounting system is one of the best on the market, only based by the Noctua Secofilm 2 system. Even so, the system used on the Ice Slit G6 Stealth is great, with metal components when it counts and rubber spacers that will grip the backplate studs and not let it slide out. The clearance for the RAM modules is good thanks to the way the heatsink fins are shaped, however the clearance for the graphics card is below average, with barely any space under the CPU cooler. The only thing you need to take into consideration with this CPU cooler is its size. It will not fit in some cases and I would not recommend such a heavy CPU cooler with a micro ATX motherboard. If you can move on past this, then the iSlit G6 Stealth is a great alternative to the high-end air CPU coolers that have been dominating the market for years. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in the direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages of this channel.